Hey everyone, welcome back. And finally, it's time for my review of Brothers Conflict, the anime series. Yeah, let me just get the technical stuff out of the way first here before I start my review. Alright. The anime series is directed by At Atsuchi Matsumoto, and it's by Studio Brainsbase. It was licensed by Funimation Entertainment and ran from July 2nd, 2013. 2000, that, 2013 to September 17, 2013, with 12 episodes, and was based on a manga series by, by Takeshi Mizuno and illustrated by Diasco Kotorino by ASCII Media Works, Shoujo Demographic. And the magazine was monthly sealed, and it ran from November 2012, and it's still ongoing. And here's what I find interesting: is that it's also not based on Cold Brothers second season, which was written by Takeshi Mizuno and illustrated by Udajo, and published by AIC Media Works, and as Shoujo Demographic, and ran from. January 2013 and it's still ongoing and currently has three volumes now. Yeah, the title of that tells me that the Brothers Conflict second season. The title of that tells me that there might be a second season of the series, which if there is, then okay, that's fine. I might decide to watch it, but if there's not, I won't exactly be disappointed in it because the series I thought was good, but it wasn't great. Alright. So yeah. But anyways, now let me get the plot out of the way. Okay, the plot of this series is very simple. It basically revolves around Emma he our main protagonist, protagonist Emma Hinata, alright. Her, her parents divorced a while ago. She married into the Akita family. And she had to move her name being changed, I guess, to Emma Akita. I assume anyways, because... We hardly ever hear her last name that she not in the series. J usually it's just Asahina. So I assume that her name was changed to Asahina, or, or her last name was changed to Asahina, or maybe she was, or maybe she just considers herself to be an Asahina. I really don't know, and I really don't care. So yeah, and she has thirteen new brothers now, and they are as follows: Asaomi Asahina. Yukio Asahina, Kaname Asahina, Hikaru Asahina, Tsubaki Asahina, Azusa Asahina, Natsume Asahina, Louise Asahina, Subaru Asahina, Yoriha Asahina, Yusuke Asahina, Futo Asahina, and Wataru Asahina. And she also has a uh, pet, uh, whatever the fuck that is, named Julie. Like a, some sort of member of the Rodin family or something, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Julie's in the series a lot as well. It's kind of like moral support. A huge part of the moral support for Emma. Alright. And Julie herself was an alright character. Now, but, but basically the uh, plot centers around Emma trying to fit into her new, fa to her new family. However, every single one of her brothers has a crush on her. I swear I did not make that up. All thirteen of them, even Wataru, who is so much fucking younger than her, has a crush on her. I wish I was making that up. To be fair, I honestly don't mind that because they're not, for the most part, because they're not... Okay, I take that back. Hikaru doesn't, till the end of the series, because I'm pretty sure he's gay. Or maybe he, at the end of the series, it could show he's bisexual, who the fuck knows. But, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, I don't care about that because they're not blood related. And if they're not blood related, I don't give a shit. But what Taru? Seriously? He had to have a crush on her, too. That's the part that kind of creeps me out, okay? Now, that being said, you know, all 12 episodes are entitled by, like, cop number episode is like first, second, third, fourth, or fifth conflict. All the way to twelfth conflict. 
basically revolves around Emma's interactions with all of her brothers as they all that he's going to get into the fray now. So maybe he is bisexual. I don't know. And by the way he talks, I think he's gay, but maybe he's bisexual. I don't fucking know. So yeah. At this point, bisexual would actually seem kind of realistic for him, for his character, right? And you know what? And she doesn't know how to take this, and it's all about how she handles this and her responses to each one of them. One of which actually a used to before she became a member of the Alcina family, one of which or uh, all of So they actually kind of already knew each other. <coughs> right, yeah, and then there's of course Julie who doesn't like any of the brothers at first, but eventually starts to warm up towards and, and there's one thing I don't understand, like how can they never explain this is actually a problem I have with the series. They never explain how Emma or any of the other brothers can understand Julie. And also, like, about midway through the series, I think it happens, or maybe closer to the end, Julie turns into a person briefly and starts talking to. Okay, that, first off, that's the first thing, alright? But then he starts confessing his own feelings for Emma and kisses her and then turns back, so. Why would would that be considered to be bestiality? I don't know. Okay, uh, let's forget about that then. I, and overall, that's really all the series is about. It's very simple now. I do like the characters to an extent. Emma, I'll talk. Emma, I actually kind of split on. I'll talk about her last. But all of the brothers have varying personalities. You know. uh... Subaki and Azusa are voice actors. Alright, they, they both are, and they both work together a lot w in voice acting. Alright, uh, Kaname is a monk. Alright, I... What the... Alright, Yukio is a lawyer. Alright, Ma Masaomi is a doctor. Hikaru is a cross dressing is a cross dressing novelist. Uh, and Natsume is the CEO of a game company that makes one of Emma's favorite games, Zombie because that mentioned a gamer. All right. Louise is a hairdresser. It's Subaru is a college sophomore and he's kind of, and he's uh, really huge into basketball, all right. And I'm guessing you know he kind of wants to go professional with it one day. It says here Yori is a high school senior, and K is a classmate of Emma's. Basically, she, he, he's about Emma's age. Uh, and Futo is a pop star idol. And Watari is the youngest. Uh, he's only 10 and in the fifth grade. <coughs> and each one of them have varying personalities, so. But because there's so many of them, some of them I ended up getting confused sometimes, such as. Tsubaki and Asahi. Or Su. Wow. Tsubaki and Azusa, for example, I would tend to get confused every now and then, and it most goes on, of course, but they do have varying personalities, and I don't really have any huge issues with them, I just wish there weren't so many, alright? <coughs> so yeah, but, now we get to, as I mentioned before, you know, Julie is an alright character as well, except for those that wrote one scene, weird scene with him, and immediately after that, that creepy scene with him, but let's move on from that. Emma herself, though, seems like, she, to me, like she's teetering on the line of a Mary Sue. <laughs> because throughout the series, she doesn't really have any major problems, major issues with herself. Really, the only problem she has is finding which one of her 
brother she's going to fall in love with. That's really it. Step brothers, I mean, of course, you know. But it's really the only major issues that she has, though. So that's why I think she's kind of teetering on the line of a Mary Sue, and I felt they could have worked her character a lot better. In addition to that, the series wasn't incredibly interesting. Like, it started out good, but it's not. it didn't start out great. It started out good, I thought. But then it started to teeter down to getting kind of boring. And it did spike within the last two or three episodes again to get good again. There was no part of the series that was great. But it did get good again towards the, at the end. But still, there was that steadily, 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 uh, steadily decline that, <coughs> that I really do have to mention here as a complaint. Music is okay, like, but there's really no memorable tracks, I don't think. Okay, I take that back. That song that play I don't know what to call it, the song that plays, like, at the end of the last episode, it plays many times throughout the course series, that's actually pretty memorable, I think, but, you know, other than that, there's, like, really weird song choices, too, like, the scene at the beginning of the last episode... I felt the music there was so fucking out of place. I don't know why they chose that music. Alright. The animation was, was not that great either. Alright. There were a few instances where, where it got to be pretty good, but other than that, it was pretty down there, I honestly felt. And the art style wasn't anything to brag about. Alright. Now, I like the concept of this series. And again, I also another the romance, and if there's any actual romance in the series, it was pathetic. Uh, yeah, there were some kisses, but it takes more than a girl kissing freaking twelve other fucking guys than the call of a romance. Okay. <coughs> So yeah. Now, as everyone did like the concept. They didn't make the concept terrible. I thought it was okay. Um, I just felt there was a lot they could have, a lot more they could have done with it. I liked. Uh, I, for the most part, liked all the characters. I think the one was actually uh, what Haru, believe it or not, even though he kind of had a crush on his older sister too. Not the fact that it's his sister, the fact that. And which kind of creeped me out, but let's move away from that. All right. So he was definitely my favorite character in the series by far. All right. But I didn't really have I didn't really have a character, so, um. And yeah. So overall, I think I'm gonna about wrap up this review though. Overall, I thought this series was good, but I felt it could have been a lot better if it would have been worked a lot better, and if you're wondering if it happens, they'd actually have a second season based on the novel, you know, Brothers Conflict second season. Will I review it? Depends. Depends on what else is coming out that season. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to give this series a 6.2 out of 10, because it was good, but it could have been so much fucking better, honestly. So, I felt that they really dropped the ball with this one, alright? So yeah, but anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.